Well, this sucks. Hey guys, I did not want to make this video. This literally sucks and it's the worst timing ever. But I'm gonna just take a pause from a vlogmas for a bit. Just for this today, this video. And I'm gonna tell you why. There will be no more writing footage of, of Rocky for a while. As you would have seen by the title, I can't ride Rocky anymore. And I'm gonna explain why. So, first of all, this is horrible timing. It's summer here, even though it's actually just had a massive thunderstorm outside. Um, we're on last week of school. Um, so yeah, it'll be the summer holidays for us, which sucks because Rocky is now not going to be able to be ridden. I'm yeah. going to just explain to you what happened and why he's not being ridden. So we've always known that his saddle doesn't fit him properly. Um, but I've had him three years. Now I do know that horses saddle, uh, their backs change quite a lot and he's definitely not got a good back. Um, <laughs> yeah, but that does that's never affected him. And obviously we just had the saddle from my mum's old horse, Johnny, and we didn't fit, well, we knew that like, he had a high with the sort of Johnny and stuff. So yeah, we've always known that it's never been properly fitted to his back so we know that it's it's not necessarily the best but I've had him for three years and it hasn't caused him any harm or anything but the other day I went out to ride him I went uh, I tacked him up tightened his girth just literally like where the tarp spot is there's a shed and then the tarp spot and I literally just turned him around to walk him out to the arena and he started bronking and snorting I was like hmm that was a bit like not usual for him and we thought his Lisa also okay, so he's... yeah he started like bronking and snorting and we were like oh, that's a bit odd maybe he's I was like he's never done that and then she was like oh maybe he got a fright at something or, or something I was like mm, kind of looks like he's a bit uncomfortable but you know what he's fresh he was snorting a bit so I was like okay I'm just gonna lunge him and I went out <clears throat> to the arena he was a bit unsure but yeah I lunged him walked so we just started with walking around like I usually do got heaps of videos on lunging <laughs> um but yeah so then yeah we lunged him and he was a bit like Ugh. like this feels a bit like he was a bit fresh or something but and we we also thought that I was like hmm maybe he's just a bit fresh from the wind because it was quite a windy day um and then I asked him to canter and he would just bronk and I was like sometimes he does do this when he's feeling fresh or just being a little poo um yeah and he was okay he felt uncomfortable he looked uncomfortable like he looked like he was uncomfortable but then he can do that and he's all like fresh and blue <laughs> um and then the breaking point was, like, I was just asking him to canter, and I thought, you know, he, he's he's a nappy horse. He does bronk when he's been nappy. And so I just asked him to go into a canter, like, a couple more times. I was asking him quite a lot, and then I, and then kind of the breaking point was he completely went straight up and almost flipped back. I was like, there is definitely something wrong. Like, this is not your new, 
this is not your usual nappy behavior or anything that is there's definitely something wrong um so yeah i took the saddle off of him just completely took it off and he's fine and he um, settled he- down and yeah he was really good and just calmed down and just did as normal and he was moving freely so i was like hmm. so then we then we checked the saddle just a bit because we were like hmm yeah, maybe his back's changed or something. Like, it's definitely something wrong with the saddle. And that's, that was, yeah. We checked the saddle. Obviously, me or Lisa are not professionals at this, but um, Lisa very kindly checked it for me. And, yeah, he was quite, it was quite tight. Like, you know how the saddle goes like that? It was, like, tight down there a bit. And on the leather and stuff, it was just, it didn't fit him correctly. So, we're like, okay. <laughs> We're going to have to buy a new saddle. So, we're going to sell. I've decided, and I'm still deciding now, even though there's a bit more that's changed since then. I'm going to sell Arvin's saddle and Red's saddle. So, yeah. And they're like pony saddles. Well, Arvin's is wide gullet winter kick. And yeah. Anyways, so yeah. Then I was like, okay. My dad was like, okay. I think we should work on the top liner whilst he can't be ridden because he's I can ride him bareback. At that point I thought I could ride him bareback. I was like, okay, we can just pretty much work on the top line. So I did these exercises. When we first got him he had the chiropractor come out to him and she gave us a few exercises for to do to build up his top, top line's horrible. Um but yeah. So we just lifted up the back a bit and stuff like that and and then the next day I was like okay we're just gonna lunge him in the lunge roller because we had a bit of time so I was like okay I'm gonna lunge him in the lunge roller and we're gonna work on his top line and we're gonna do poles and stuff we'll slowly gradually build him into it at this point things kind of went the same as what they did and I'm slightly wondering if he's had it for a bit but he's so kind that he just he wouldn't tell you unless he's in a lot of pain so, I lunged him. This was without the side reins on or anything. I just put the lunge roller on. I was like, hmm, okay. And he was okay in walk and in trot. But again, when I asked him to canter, he was bronking and very uncomfortable. He did it a bit more willingly, but he was still very uncomfortable. I was like, hmm. So, I took this, <laughs> took the lunge roller off. Um, and he was fine again. Finished lunging him and he was fine. Um, we were jumping. I did some jumping with him. So then I was like, mm, okay, I'm just going to kind of like feel along his back. So like there's kind of the skirt, you know, the skirt of the saddle, like kind of just put around there and then down and behind his shoulder. I found he was flinching a lot and I was like, oh, okay. And Lisa again said, oh, maybe he's either, he's either slipped over in the field or he's got ulcers because it's on both sides. And so it's just like, just, be- um, just behind the elbow. I'll show you a video. So yeah, that was the video. You can see it quite clearly. And, and then, then I went down yesterday and I just, f- like, show dad pretty much i did his exercises which is like the you kind of like go under like kind of put your finger like under their stomach like just before the like just behind the girth and it like it rises like if you think his top line is like that it makes him use his core muscle down here and like bring it up and he holds that for 15 seconds um and the same and i did a bit of tail pulling like and he's very tight i reckon around there yeah. Um, so I showed my dad and he was like, yeah, maybe ulcers or something. And then I was like, maybe he's just ticklish or something. Like, I'm going to do it behind Kiwis. Do do it to Kiwi as well. And he was the exact same. And, yeah, he didn't like it either. He was a bit, like, ticklish. And I was like, maybe he is just ticklish. Um, and maybe it's not anything 
to worry about. Yeah, and that's pretty much what we're going to do. So, we are going to treat him for the ulcers. Um, in case he does have ulcers, we're going to see how that goes. We're going to treat him with ulcer, the ulcer treatment. Um, and we're going to see how that goes. And if, it improve, if he improves, then, that, then we know that it was ulcers. Um, and if not, then we'll probably get the vet out. Obviously, yeah, probably get the vet out or a chiropractor or something just to see if he slipped over or something. Um, and also get a new saddle fitted, which is definitely we were like me and Dad were both like, mm, yeah, I think we need a new saddle anyways because he's not very comfortable in that. Um, yeah, and I forgot to mention horses' backs change all the time, so he may have changed his back shape and that just might have happened but yeah so unfortunately i cannot ride i'm just going to go over that vlogmas will continue but there will be no no more riding vlogs which sucks i don't think no no which really does suck because there was like some fun christmas game activities i was going to do but yeah let me know in the comments if you want to see any i've pretty much i've pretty much filmed all of the vlogmas you can have videos or like got them ready to pre-film but yeah so yeah not even gonna say i hope you enjoyed that video but yeah i thought i'd tell you and this really sucks bad timing but anyways see you guys bye